All right, so Battlefield. I don't like starting here, but actually, no, I do start here, I guess, Mars sometimes. Because I usually ban found an empty. So I end up here a lot. Never mind. So let's see how they start off initially. So Kevin, that's a lot. Kevin keeps getting punished for this fair. I'm not going to lie. Comes down with the fair. Gets hit. Does a down tilt. All right. The fair catches the jump. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Grab's so good against... These characters are just so good off the grab against each other. Back here. Oh, fuck. Oh, he might be dead. Yeah. Back here. Comes up with it. And gets, you really got to be careful as a Marth in this situation. Because the crouch cancel, it's so many, there's so few moves that Marth has that beats that crouch cancel by the ledge. So, like, when you, you really can't, it's like, you can't jump into Fox there. I think the Nair is, like, the only move that really, like, I, but I don't know what percent the Nair, um, the Nair knocks down a crouching Fox. But the forward air, is, I can get crouched for a really long time. And he doesn't get the tip of the forward air. So he's pretty much, like, he's pretty much fucked. That's, like, a really weak, um, fair hitbox. So he's pretty much guaranteed to die there. It didn't really matter the percent. Makes good use of his invincibility, though. Colin stays too close by. Something to remember, you really, he jumps way too far into PPU zone and just gets forward air. And so pretty much that lead he built could all end right here. Yeah, exactly. So you guys, respect your opponent's invincibility. Because he pretty much, he... He gets a nice, nice, nice lead. He's at 27%. Jumps in Kevin's face. Gets grabbed. Gets red. Gets forward smashed. And just like that, he loses it. So, take care of your invincibility. Kick, I mean, take care. Respect your opponent's invincibility. Okay, again. Kevin looked like he's a little late there. Up throw. Couple of the other way. Still on a platform, though. Yeah, that's it. Very, very, two very, very clean stocks by Kevin on the edge guard. I like that down tilt. I didn't think he'd get that off in time. So, again, all of a sudden, only down. All, Kobo all of a sudden gets a great first stock and then is down a whole stock right now. Grab. Those edge guards are hard to get. Ooh, I like the little fade back on the drill here. This is cute. Look at this. The fade back gets his jabs in because Kevin, I think Kevin tried to grab him after. So he drills. Kevin tries to grab, but the jab beats him out. Uh, ooh, damn. And these DIs, too, are just like, he's just dying. He's just, blah! Up till, bam. He's just fucking dying so so fast. All right. So let's see what he can do. Tries to get into, I like the shine grab attempt. That sucks. Gets into a knockdown situation. Up air. Catches him coming down with an up tilt. Another up tilt. Jab reset. I'm sure he didn't mean to jump. Because he kind of lost his combo there. Ooh. He just runs right into another grab. Forward air. Shine. Yeah. That gets you... If you're a Marth player, that's going to get you killed like 90... It should get you killed like all every time. The second I see a forward be like that, I automatically shine. It's just too much lag on that move. So Kevin gets caught. So not as good a use of his invincibility this time. Baits out a uh, couple is able to bait a grab out. I mean, excuse me, bait in there, I'll get a hit. Ooh, nice crash cancel. Back air, yeah, back air. Like you really got to be careful of the like it's very something that foxes do. Um, but just coming down to a low percent because he's at like twelve percent, right? So he's able to get hit and go into a crouch and then get a hit off. So really got to respect that low. I think we talked about that and. In the Samus matchup, but just in general, you really got to respect your opponent's crouch because he gets a hit but gets punished for it, um, and then gets put in a bad position. And he's probably dead. Oh, nice recovery though. Gives himself a chance. Forward throw. Kevin does not want to get shine spiked. <laughs> oh, and then Cobalt does some interesting option. Oh, uh, smash. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Oh, 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 God, I love it. I just love it so much. That was gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love the double four. I love it. I love that he just, like, once he got him in that situation, he really took advantage of it. Jumps. Catch 4B, 4B, fair. That's gorgeous. That's just gorgeous. All right, so nice work by um Kevin, especially after he lost that first stock really quick.
Why is it bad to do aerials high on shield? Um, it's kind of just like a. I think it's like a mix up. You know, it's just something to be aware of. Um, it's kind of a mix up. Low aerials are definitely kind of sh are safer in in like shine pressure because you know your opponents and shield shield stun longer. Um, so high aerials are definitely easy easier to punish if your opponent sees it coming. Um, so it really depends on the situation. If your opponent gets your shield up on a high aerial, then de you're probably gonna get punished. But it's it's more of a mix up than anything. Oh yeah, sure. Sorry, I didn't know I had the mouse on there. Uh. Well, Big Papa, it's not always safe. It's like the low shine on shield gives you the most. puts your um the low nair gives like puts your opponent in like a lot of shield stun. So if you go into like a like a multi, so say you do like a low nair at your shine, um, like you got a pretty good event. Like, it, like then you'll you'll be up a lot of frames. Like, you know, there's like, but once you go into your next aerial, there's gonna be a shit ton of lag getting into your next aerial. So like, if you would do a do a deep nair shine, it's gonna take a next while for your next. Aerial. You're you're probably gonna get punished on the next one. Um, so but if you do like a deep nair into like a a, dult, a double shine or something like that's super safe. But I mean, there's there's gonna be lag regardless. Like, there's it's lag at the end or lag at the beginning. You know, depending on what you do. You know, if you try to do a deep aerial and your opponent sees it, then you get hit before you even start it. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, anyway. Uh, interesting, down tilt. Ooh, catches his jump with a forward air. That's a good reaction. This is a good crouch by Cobalt. Good crouch, down tilt, shine. Uh, oh, so another, another really clean first stock by Cobalt. Very, very clean. Last time, it was like, like, see what he does this time. He's learned his lesson. Again, really gets caught. Gets This time, he doesn't really get punished as hard. But again, Kevin just comes down off his invincibility and hits him. Good tech on that, um, that up tilt, though. Mm, maybe a shiner shield. Ooh, ooh. 50 eye on that drill. Again, another good, another good, looks like another good crouch. Yeah, another good crouch. On that forward air by uh, Kobo. Mm hmm. Ooh. Oh, that shit. Oh, nice little shine turn on back air. Okay. Okay. Oh. That hits him with that, that Pikachu. Get him attack recovery. Uh, edge guarding. Oh, interesting. I don't care what's going for there. Uh, got a ledge. I'm sure he, that's what he wanted to do. Just got there slow. Mm, I think this one will be a little risky. The reason I don't like this one as much is because he tried to do it last time. So, like, I feel like Kevin was, I don't know, needs more of a mix-up. And Fox is too good for being a back air. Always a good choice. Mm -hmm. Should be dead here. Yeah, nice. Clean. Back air. Another back air. Kevin tries to look like shield drops there. Tried to shield drop twice. Finally gets it on the third one. It gets a grab. Ooh, I like it. Uh, ooh. That was a tricky recovery. Again, Kobo, like, really aware of how strong his crouch is at these low percents. Because, like, he's just sitting by the ledge crouching. He just wants Kevin to do a move. Back air. Up tilt. Nair. Ooh, that was cute. That was cute. Let's see what he goes for the cloud. Ooh, nice up air. Mm-hmm. Ooh. And this is what I would really makes this good to me is that look at like look how Kevin like kind of waits like a lot of people are just up air right away but Kevin waits for the tech to happen and then up air and that's why he gets to keep the combo going like um he doesn't just up air a lot of people would just they automatically just they'll be like okay they'll just up air like right in like the, before they let the situation develop but um, Kevin lets it kind of like the tech situation happen then gets another up air. Then goes into the floor. Then goes into the down air. So he lets the tech situation happen. So that's why he gets to keep his combo string going. So very, very good by him. I think the Nair still would have got crafted. Even though it was low, like, at 0%, there's no move that he would have that would beat that 0% out. So he still probably would have got Shine Spike. So he's, I think he's very he's very fortunate that Col um, Colbo chose to jump. Because he probably would have got Crash Cancel Shine there. Another nice... So these are nice down tilts by um, Colbo. Good down tilts. I like they're covering a good amount of space. 
It's like the third one he's connected. All right, see. Ooh. So I don't know what Colin's doing. He's really not respecting the crouch at all. I mean, the, the invincibility at all. He tries to hit. <laughs> Ooh, another crouch. Um, tries to get him with another one of those crouch cancel uh, down tilts. Kevin Waits goes back a little bit, though. A little bit of a fade back on that one. Oh, he says, you can just grab the Firefox. I did not know. You can just grab it? Yeah, he just grabs it like, fuck it. Nice, better DI than he's had on the, uh, some of the earlier ones. Mm-hmm. Better DI on that forward smash than he did on the Battlefield games where he just literally just died. Ooh. Ooh, gets a grab. Ooh, running shine. I haven't seen a shit ton of running shines, but I'm like I've said, I'm, I'm a huge fan of running shine against Mark. He just runs him down. Doesn't convert off it because he kind of fucks up his movement. Oh, it's a little of those one of those twenty XX things. Uh, dash attack, and then another running shine. Same scenario though, right? Where like he gets the running shine, but he fucks up his movement after, so he can't convert. He jumps, so that would have been a clean. Like he could have got something really clean off it. Again, it looked like another running shine. How does he get off the ledge? You can tell like you can tell how confident someone is on the ledge dash on the last stop because this is like an easy. Like, this, if he had ledge dash into, like, a shine, up smash, nair, he could have got something going. But he kind of pauses, and then he loses his opportunity. He rolls. He rolls again. Um, third roll. So. Hits him with the kin. Get up attack. Too strong. And it's getting kind of choppy now. And then Colin just kills himself. Hey, I just met you. God damn it.